we are taking market share from the, our competitors, and we have done so for 14 years. Uh, the, the reason our gross margin keeps going up is because our Milwaukee business is highly accretive in terms of gross margin. Milwaukee has grown nine straight years at 20% plus. Last year, 22% in an incredibly tough economic environment. Additionally, Emily, our, our aftermarket battery business, so every cordless tool we sell has, has a, a battery aftermarket it creates. And we've been maniacally focused on cordless for the last 15 years. We have competition. <coughs> Still focused on petrol and pneumatic and, 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 elect, and corded power tools. So when you, and we're number one now in the world in cordless power tools and pro and DIY, which means there's an aftermarket of these batteries. And our battery business in 2016 was 200 million. Emily, last year, 2022, a billion three. And the gross margin on batteries is even higher than Milwaukee. So we went from 200 to a billion three, and that drives the gross margin improvement. So of course our gross margin outperforms the industry. The other thing is, you know, we, we invest aggressively in, 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 in research and development in new products. And every, every three years, our goal is to launch a new generation drill driver, impact driver. New generation means every three years we launch them that are more, we launch these products that will be more powerful, lighter, um, smaller, easier to use, charge faster, have longer run times. And now they're even loaded with machine learning, AI machine learning. So, so of course we're, we're winning, taking market share, and going to gross margin because these high-tech products um, drive a creative gross margin for the company. So you have to remember uh, also the, the, and the report. This was an anonymous, baseless report. Um, our team, our board, and our, and our accounting team did a, a magnificent job of voluntarily refuting every single baseless claim. And virtually every sell side analyst we have has a buy rating on the stock. So, look, we feel terrific about our future. And, um, you know, we can't wait to show what we'll do this year, Emily. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.